Often it's useful to look at data not from an individual event perspective, but instead from the, the file or the email side. So we have two tabs here, the, the download tab and the mail tab. These allow you to look at not whether a host was infected or a given number of events, but instead how many people have downloaded a file. So here I can see I've got a, a number of files listed by their, their MD5 checksum and how many times those, those files were, were downloaded. So here I can see, you know, person's downloaded it once, three times. Um, so relatively, you know, one person to one person. We can also look at the, the mail side. And here I can see, again, I've got a bunch of individual emails. But if I scroll down, I've got one situation where I've got 37 um, hosts having received a, a file in uh, the same file in an email and I can see it, it's from a, a large number of, of senders and then it's I've got the same recipient which is our, our spam email box but it could very well be a, a large number of recipients as well but depending on which it is can allow you to determine how you want to respond to this do you need to go to a, a group of users do you need to, to block a specific sender um, this allows you to quickly come in and maybe look at, hey, I've got a large number of users downloading a file from a, a given URL. Let me quickly put a, a blocking rule on our, our firewall or let me put a blocking rule on our mail server. So it allows you to set up more of a, a system-wide fix to a, an incoming attack.